to the Winter Olympics where the U.S. is celebrating a big victory on the ice as well as another gold medal. Alex Roche is joining us from Beijing with more. Alex, good morning to you. Wade, good morning from Beijing. Team USA adding to its Olympic medal count and setting a record in the process. Meanwhile, two controversies loom over these Beijing games. This morning, the future of 15-year-old Russian phenom Kamila Valieva, accused of doping, is still in question. But now, a deadline for when the situation could be resolved. The Court of Arbitration for Sport now promising a decision by Monday. Are you confident that there will be a resolution to this by the 15th? There will be a resolution of this specific case. Yeah, I'm, I'm certain of that. Controversy coming from a positive drug test for a banned substance in December. The results not coming to light to the International Olympic Committee until after Valieva helped the Russian Olympic Committee win gold in the team's skate event Monday. This morning, magic on the ice. The U.S. men's hockey team taking down Canada in a preliminary round 4-2. to two. A major victory. Team USA hasn't beaten the Canadians in the Olympics since 2010. The U.S. also taking home another gold medal. Lindsey Jacob Ellis and Nick Baumgartner winning in the mixed snowboard cross. Jacob Ellis, 36 years old, and at age 40, Baumgartner, the oldest American male snowboarder in Olympic history. The win coming amid new allegations of sexual harassment and racism within the U.S. snowboard cross team. U.S. Ski and Snowboard now investigating allegations made by former Olympian Kalin Chaitluk Sisoff in an online post accusing head coach Peter Foley of sexual misconduct, including taking naked photos of female athletes. Chaitluk Sisoff also accused teammate Hagen Kearney of repeatedly using a racial slur roughly eight years ago. Both Foley and Kearney are representing Team USA here in Beijing. Foley denies the allegations, telling the New York Times he was totally surprised by them. Kearney overnight posting to Instagram he's ashamed of using the slur back then in what he calls an act of utter stupidity, but denies other allegations. U.S. Ski and Snowboard said concerns regarding Kearney were dealt with at the time and appropriate action was taken. Now, the Court of Arbitration announced this morning that it plans to hold that hearing tomorrow and expects to announce by Monday whether Valieva will be able to compete in the women's event next week. Eva? And so many people are watching to see what they decide yeah. as far as that case goes. Thanks you, Alex Prochet. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.